All right, YouTubers. I know I haven't had a video in a little while, so I wanted to give you a tip that I just discovered about how to save a deeply, deeply discharged um, glass mat battery, like an Optima battery. So what I have here on my Panga is this Optima battery, right? You've seen these type before. They're totally encased, um, basically much more efficient. They're super expensive if you ever bought one, 400 bucks plus. But they're supposed to be awesome batteries. So a little backstory, what happened is I left the key switch on, left the radio on on the boat, went out of town for a week, came back, this thing is dead as a doornail. So naturally I hook up my normal battery charger to it and I attempt to charge it. First thing, errors, won't charge it at all. So I'm thinking, man, this is a dead battery. This is, uh, this is gonna be a problem. So I went out and thought my battery charger was bad. I bought a second battery charger, a smart charger. Didn't work again. It said error, dead battery. So I'm thinking this battery is completely shot. I did a little research, and the problem with these AGM batteries is it just these um, glass mat batteries is that they're super efficient because they have very low resistance. But the problem with that is when it's deeply, deeply discharged, below 10 volts, basically, the average battery charger senses no resistance when it's trying to charge. So it thinks the battery is completely done, bad battery, no, nothing attached, and it automatically stops charging. So rather than throwing this battery out, which I was close to doing and getting a new battery, after doing a little research, re realized that you need a special type of charger. You need a charger that is functional with a, a glass mat. Um, and if you don't wanna go out and buy a charger, there's another quick little way to trick it. And this is what I ended up doing. So what I did was I took my truck and I hooked up jumper cables to my truck while it was running. Now that's charging the battery without any kind of smart charging capability, right? There's no sensor in there determining it. So that truck battery was filling basically this battery. And what it did was it got that voltage up to 10 volts. Then I plugged my traditional battery charger into it and it tricked it. It thought, hey, there's more than 10 volts here. This is a good battery and started charging it. The second workaround way to do it is to buy one of these types of chargers, a smart charger. And these chargers have a setting for glass mat batteries. So they know that the low resistance isn't caused by a bad battery and they will continue to charge a deeply discharged battery. But honestly, if you have a traditional battery charger, you can still use it. You just have to get the voltage up above 10 volts for that traditional battery charger to be able to charge it. So like I said, path of least resistance, use jumper cables, start your car, hook it up to that for 30 minutes, get that voltage up above 10 volts, and then you can take it off the, the uh, jumper cables, plug it into your normal charger, and your charger should be able to see it at that point and charge it. I hope this helps you guys. Have fun.